guys, it's Candace Brock with a new episode of Two Fab or Two Drab, helping us break down the best and worst of celebrity fashion. Our lifestyle blogger, Sorme Salampour, and fashion blogger and entrepreneur, Ariana Pierce. Are you guys ready to see these looks? Let's yes, do it. let's do it. So first up, we have Khloe Kardashian. She's in New York City. She's wearing self-portrait. And she's really having a moment in New York for me with all these clothes. But this look was my favorite, too fab. The color, the sheer panels, the coat, the hair, everything is just amazing. This is literally, I think, 2016's Chloe's year. Like, she's been through so much in the past year with her body makeover, her hair is now chopped off. I mean, this is her just like coming into her own, and I couldn't agree more. I love the bodycon with this just like effortlessly chic coat on top. She's keeping it sophisticated, and I really like that. Yeah, I totally love this look as well. I mean, her hair is so perfect. That color, her skin, everything's just looking great. Her body is on point right now. I mean, she just, 2016 is her year, you're right, so I give her two fab, definitely. Okay, so now we have Jessica Simpson, and she's at the YMI Scholarship Fund, wearing Monique Lulier. And I am actually really liking this look. I feel like Jessica's been doing things lately that have just been so outdated, but this for me is current. It's beautiful, she cut her hair, and I'm actually really impressed with her, so I'm gonna give her a two fab. I agree. I think with Jessica, she either looks matronly or just really out of date and just kind of a mess. And <laughs> And this for her, I mean, it makes her body look great. I agree with the hair, like chopping that off, you actually can see her face and see her shape more. And it's just a really good, sophisticated look for her right now. So major two fab. Jessica Simpson, I mean, she looks absolutely fabulous. I think she's looked the best she's ever looked. Um, it's, you know, kind of sexy with the see-through thing going on. So I really love it and I give her two fab as well. Now we have Selena Gomez and she's at the UNICEF ball wearing Louis Vuitton. And she was doing so well for me. Like after the Victoria's Secret fashion show, she was so hot. And now she's back to like this weird crap that she's been wearing. And I just like, I hate this. <laughs> It's, it's dumb, it's ridiculous, it's weird. It's too drab, I'm sorry. She's making me really sad here because this, I think again, just like with Chloe, this has been her year, her moment to like step out into her own. Louis Vuitton, I think lately with their campaigns, they've been gearing towards more of like a youthful audience. But this is just horrible. It does nothing for her. Red leather and just <laughs> To the floor, I mean, I'm not really sure what she was thinking. Maybe if it was shorter, yeah. it would do so. I yeah. think if like it was shorter, because I like it, but if it was shorter and not so long, and looks like it's just covering her whole body, so um, I would give her two drab for this one. And she hasn't learned her lesson about these dresses, obviously, yeah. because she wore another one of these in black during London Fashion yeah. Week. Like, no. Okay, so we have Kate Hudson, and she's at the Stella McCartney Autumn 2016 presentation. This is slightly boring for me, but again, like she's just, I love her so much <laughs> that this is still chic and she has the short bob and I like how she's kind of doing a little bit more of a sexy look now. So I'm gonna give Kate Hudson a two fab because I just love her so much. Coming from her Golden Globes moment in that nude two-piece, like super sexy look, this really just doesn't do it for me. She kind of gets lost in this and it's not, it's just, it's ordinary for me. I would rather her have more of a moment with her outfit. Two drab for me. Again, I love her, her body is amazing. The dress, I'm, when I look at it, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with it, with the skirt and the, you know, well, the P, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I'm gonna have to say two drab for this one. Okay, so now we have Nicole Richie. She's at Stella McCartney's Autumn 2016 presentation. I know we're talking about the outfit, but I just can't get past that hair. The <laughs> hair is horrible. She ruined her head, I'm sorry. But the outfit is just, she's such a petite girl, that coat is unnecessary. Too drab. I agree, that coat looks like a shag rug, and those earrings, I'm not sure what she was thinking, they look like they weigh more than she does. It's just its just all sorts of wrong, I'm sorry, too drab. It looks like she was going for an old Hollywood glam type look, gone wrong, I don't know, but I'm gonna say too drab for this. Okay, we have Hilary Duff, and she is leaving the Today Show. She's wearing a Zimmerman crop top and theory suit, and she's another one who's having such a moment for me. She's promoting Younger and every one of her looks has been amazing and this is just like so hot. And to think about Lizzie McGuire and like <laughs> right. how far she's come to like this, she's for me a style icon yeah. now, for me at least. But I love this, too fab. I think cutting your hair has something to do with like, you know, your new, new yeah. coming of age, like style evolution, I feel like. Her, Jessica Simpson, Khloe Kardashian, they're all having these great moments. Not to mention I'm very for menswear with a little like twist of feminine, that Zimmerman crop 
basically makes this outfit for me. Massive too fab for Hillary. I'm definitely loving this look. I mean, it's feminine, it's sexy, it's so on point. Her hair is amazing, I love it. And um, you know, I was never one to really look to her for style, but this year I'm just like, oh my gosh, you look great. And this outfit I could totally, well, I think I could rock. She makes me feel like <laughs> I could wear that. Next now I have Nina Dobrev, and she's at the Marie Claire Image Maker Awards wearing Ailey Saab. And we saw Hillary do menswear right, and I'm sorry, this is how you do menswear wrong. This literally looks like something that a 70-year-old woman would wear to church <laughs> or to like the office. Mm, I can't. I can't with this. I'm sorry. I really wish she would have paired this with like a skinny jean or just even a skinny slack. I'm not mad at the blazer or the little bralette showing through. Her hair and makeup to me, I like that effortless look. But like roll up your sleeves, have fun with it. She's getting lost in this entire look. It's too dry. Yeah, I think that the suit and the pants, they're drowning her. She's so small, so I feel like it was just clothes thrown on her, like, hey, put this on. But if it was more fitted, tight, tailored to her body, I think it would be great. And, well, I know it would be great, and her body is fabulous, but you can't see it under, mm -hmm. you know, that box. So I'm definitely going to give her two drab for this one. Thank you so much for joining us, ladies. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And that was this week's edition of Two Fab or Two Drab. And let us know what you think of our picks in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.